I'm here. I'm here. Thanks. Thanks for your patience, guys. Once again, my name is Rob Kakish. Oh, All right, guys, make sure to turn it out and put a lid on it. Make sure to mute yourself. And by back then, it will be cool. Back at home, warm, whatever. Sorry. How's it going, everybody? My name is Rob Cactus, president of the FFL Frontline Organization here on the SkyPoint call that we have uh, pretty much throughout the entire week. So thanks for uh, coming coming on. Appreciate your patience once again. And we're going to be talking about the in-home clinic, guys. So we're going to get straight to the point with this. So I'm, I'm getting on stage next. So uh, we're going to do both. But nonetheless, guys, the we got to remember that the phones right? The phones is going to be the gateway to business. Okay. So the phones, the gateway to business. Okay. And, and what do I mean by that? The phones is the gateway to the business in the sense that everything that you want comes from somebody else. The life that you want is going to come from a stranger. JC, make sure to mute yourself, brother. So every, every, the client has the money that you want. The client has the policy that you want to sell. And how do you do that? You got to get in front of people. How do you get in front of people? There's a couple of ways, right? You can market yourself, which you got to be very consistent at, and you're not going to get an immediate return on that. That has to compound over time. The next thing is text messaging. Text messaging is actually very, very good, right? That's me and my, me and my agency, Jason Cogdale on here. He can vouch for that. Uh, um, we do a lot of text messaging. Because if somebody's not going to answer your phone call, they might answer that text message. Even if it ups the percentage 10, 15%, it's worth it, right? It's all worth it, especially what we have here because the return on investment is so massive, right? We're spoiled with our comp and whatnot. So it is absolutely worth it. And then obviously the phones. Okay, me personally, uh, I went Hall of Fame last year because of the phones, right? It was, it was the understanding that even though I'm not in love with the phones, I can understand what the phone is gonna do for me and my business and me and my family and me and for my parents, right? The phones allowed me to write enough business to where last Christmas, whoever, see, whoever has me on social media, I, I was able to take care of my parents' mortgage for the last six months, right? I was able to put my sister in her nursing school. I was able to buy my mother a car and my sister a car as well. That's what the phone does, right? So first we got to get that mindset before we start to dread it, right? And after 30, 40 calls, we get a lot of no's and we're over it, right? We're over it. To make 40, 50, 60, 70 calls a day, your life is not going to change. That's not what this business is. And if it is, you're, I'm going to be honest, you're wasting your time, right? And I say that as a person who doesn't know you, but cares about you because I wouldn't want to waste your time if you think 60, 70, 80, even 100 calls a day is going to change your life, right? You need to be doing a few hundred calls. I'm going to have you on the producer panel. I don't want to interview. That's right. Oh, sorry. Paul McLean's messaging me, guys. Um, right. Finishing up Sky Point call training all right sorry guys that was integrity partner paul mcclain messaging me but yeah guys all right so first thing you have to i personally think that the best times to call is in the morning and in the evening in the morning is you know 7 45 8 a.m till about 12 12 30 okay and how do you dial okay actually first let me tell you the schedule so more the morning and then the evening around 4 to 8 p.m okay now a lot of people burn out or don't want to call because they literally dial for four or five hours without stopping. Okay. So the trick is every 45, 50 minutes, you take yourself a five to seven minute break. So you do five sessions in the morning of 50 minutes, five sessions in the evening of 50 minutes. And every 50 minutes you do a, you take what they, what Tony Robbins and Brandon Burchard call a strategic reset, right? That's moving your body, getting the blood flow going, grabbing yourself a power raise, some water, some tea, coffee, going outside, getting some fresh air, and then coming back. Every five zero, every 50 minutes, you have a strategic reset. Okay? So that also gives you, in those 45, 50 minutes, you're going hard as you possibly can because it's absolutely worth it if every 45 minutes, every 50 minutes, you book yourself one appointment, which is very realistic if you dial properly if you dial efficiently, if you're structured, if you're scheduled, 
Okay. So if you did four or five 50 minute sessions in the morning, that's four or five appointments from the morning calls and another four or five appointments from the evening calls. That means in the, ne the next day or the next two days, you have about 16 appointments. Even if you only closed three of the 16 appointments at an average around a thousand bucks a pop, you just made yourself approximately $3,000 off those three appointments, right? If you can get an $85 premium, the insurance carriers are going to roughly pay you $900 to $1,000 in a couple of days, straight to your bank account, right? Now, so this is how a, a script would go, right? Oh, mind you, obviously, when you guys buy these leads, you want to stack the odds in your favor. See, if, if a new agent were to ask me, hey, I have the last $2,000 in my account, should I spend $500 or $2,000? What would be more detrimental? If I told the agent to spend another to spend $500 and keep $1,500, I'm actually doing him a disservice. That agent who has the last $2,000 is better off spending that $1,500, $2,000 because he doesn't have to come from a scarcity mindset. He doesn't have to come from a scarcity piece. The return on investment is so here. We want to stack the odds in your favor. We want to stack the odds in your favor. $500 won't change your world if you spend that on leads. $2,000 can. Right? Because even that, that extra $1,500, if that even got you another three or four policies, you, that's anywhere from three to five grand more net. Okay, now we can start to breathe for a sec and reinvest properly after that every week. Right. And remember, when done properly, guys, you just you front your money just that once. And then you continue to recycle. It's like inventory. Leads are inventory. Right. Um, and that's why I'm so big on the proponent of calling and sending a text message. It has to be a double whammy. Okay, you can use TurboText for that. You can use Ringy for that. You can message me if you want more details. I actually have a coupon code as well about the whole shebang. Anyways, phone script. Uh, uh, the leads that I buy many of the times are, uh, or I tell my agents, especially the new ones to buy, are one month old and three month old leads. So these are anywhere from 30 to, let's say, 100 days old, 30 to 90 days old, whatever. Um, this is how my uh, script usually is. And it's not really a script. It's just doing it so much to where, you know, you just get creative with it. Okay, so it'd be like, hey, uh, Tammy. Hey, Tammy, this is this is Rob. I'm actually the agency owner in uh, San Bernardino County. I was getting back to you. I apologize. Our guys did drop the ball on getting that information to you. Are you still at 123 Main Street? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm at 123 Main Street. Agency owner for what? Ma'am, you requested not too long ago uh, the state-regulated Barry programs and life insurance. It shows that your case file is still uh, not closed. We do apologize for that. Uh, we did want to have these calls stop because I'm assuming you're getting too many calls or not enough or, or not getting calls at all. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So whether they say it's too many calls or not enough calls at all, the answer for me is exactly. That's why I'm calling. We want to be, it takes about eight to 10 minutes so we can take you off this call list, ma'am. We have an opening in the morning and evening tomorrow. Which one do you prefer? Or if it's a telesale, uh, Mr. Mrs. Smith, we actually have, uh, do you have seven to eight minutes right now or is this evening better? Right, so if it's gonna be a telesale, you gotta ask for permission right then and there, or is it better in the evening? If it's an in-home appointment, you're gonna ask obviously for the morning or evening of the next day. You guys keep calling. Ma'am, I completely understand. That's the reasoning for my call. I'm not interested anymore. I completely understand. That's the reasoning for my call. Is it because it's too expensive or too many people have been calling you? Exactly. Too many people have been calling me. Ma'am, that's actually the reasoning for my call. We do want to get you off the list, but you're going to continue getting these calls because it shows that your case is unsatisfied. It takes about eight to 10 minutes to go over this information with you. I'll be in and out of your hair just as fast as I was there. Is that fair? It's awkward if they say it's not fair. Well, yeah. How, how long is it going to take? Ma'am, it's about eight to 10 minutes. Are you still at 123 Main Street? Perfect, perfect. The underwriter is very busy tomorrow, but we do have an availability in the morning or in the evening tomorrow. What do you prefer? More, uh, well, I guess we could do the morning if it's not going to take long. Fair enough, ma'am. I have an opening at, at 9 and 9.45. Which one do you prefer? Uh, let's just get it done with 9 a.m. is fine. Perfect, ma'am. So just give me a 30-minute window just in case traffic or another client. Do you have a pen and paper with you? 
No. Do you mind getting one, please? Do I need one? Just so we can keep track, ma'am, and you know wh who the underwriter is. Yes, please. Okay. Underwriter's name is going to be Rob Kakish. National producer number where you're able to find them on the state and government websites is going to be 1955, blah, 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 blah. He'll be pulling up in a white Chevy Malibu. Are there any dogs or gates that we have to know about? Perfect. Uh, is it okay if we park in your driveway or on the street is fine? Got it. And what time was that going to be again, ma'am? Uh, 9 a.m. Perfect. Perfect. Is there any reason besides a natural disaster you wouldn't be there at that point? Mm, I, I should be there, ma'am, respectfully, just because we have a very busy day tomorrow. Should you or will you be there? I'll be here. I'll be here. Perfect, ma'am. Looking forward to taking, uh, looking forward to talking to you, to seeing you, helping you out, whatever tomorrow. Take care. Boom. So you're not going to get everyone, but how many times can you do it to get a handful, a couple handfuls of yeses? Because it is worth it. Right? See, see, if we were doing this for 25, 30, 40 percent comp, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth to do all what you got to do. And if you close two, three policies, it's like, 150 bucks each policy. Yeah, your world is not changing. But but for 90, 95, 100, 100, 510%, yeah. Because you're almost at full ownership. If you're at 100%, that's full ownership. You are getting 100% a piece of the pie. And at that point, it is worth it. At that point, it definitely is worth it. Okay. Um, another phone script. Or, or let's say uh, the client says... Uh, Actually, I'll just give you one of my other ones. Hello, Tammy. Hey, Tammy, this is Rob. I'm actually the manager in the area. I was I was apologizing in regards to, to not filling out your request that you sent to uh, uh, a little while back ago regarding the state regulated final expense and burial programs at 123 Main Street. Is that your address, ma'am? See, that that first seven, six seconds is very key because you gotta you gotta have some type of authority, keep them on the hook and drop some personal information, whether it's their address or birth date or hobby or whatever the form says. So when you go through that script, you gotta say enough to keep them on the phone. And how do you keep them on the phone is having something unique in the beginning, like what I said, hey ma'am, I'm actually the manager in the area. Uh, my guys did drop the ball on you. My agency, did, my agents did drop the ball on you and getting back to regards to the request that you sent in not too long ago. Are you still at 123 Main Street? You solidify it with some personal information and data on their end. They'll stay on the phone. They'll tell you yes or no about the address or birthday. Then they'll ask you about <clears throat> what it's for. Then when you say you're the agency matter regarding blah, 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 you're calling to apologize because you, uh, uh, our agents dropped the ball. Now you give them a door to open. But in this case, it's a good door to open because now they can start fending their feelings off. Yeah, you guys are calling me too much. It was too expensive. I got denied. Now they can start to, 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 to give you the answer to their needs, right? They can start to give you the answer for your needs. And at that point, that's when you listen for a little bit and then try to solve that problem. Ma'am, I completely understand. It takes about eight to 10 minutes so we can get you off the list, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I understand, I assume you're getting too many calls or not many calls at all. Is that correct? Regardless which one they choose, it's gonna be, yeah, correct. I'm not getting any calls. Yeah, I completely understand. I'm getting too many calls. Yeah, I completely understand. I'm not interested anymore. I completely understand. See, and then with the rebuttal sheet, which is what I have, actually, I wish I had, actually, I, I'll put it on my Instagram at Rob Cat, because you guys can message me and I'll send it out to you. I have a full e-app e rebuttal form that if you guys can study three, four, and know it like the back of your palm, you'll never have a problem on the phone because you know the main four, four rebuttals. But that part, it's up to you as a professional, as an entrepreneur, as an agent, as a broker, or, or, or whoever, is to really know that information and make this skill like it's second nature, because it's supposed to be like that, right? So that's, that's why every time I do get on the phone, I don't sell how I sold last year, obviously the agency's growing, but when I do get on the phone, which is still every day, um, it's, I already know I'm going to close something. I already know I'm booking appointments, because it's, I'm assuming it's done, because no, no, nobody's going to go through the phone and strangle you. Okay, none of, the, none of the clients are going to come out of the phone and strangle you and put you in a headlock and say, okay, let's stop calling me. Ma'am, I'm actually, what I'm supposed to do is actually I got to keep calling you until we satisfy this. So I understand that you are frustrated with all these calls, but I am the manager in the area. It takes about eight to 10 minutes to go over this information. Did you have an opening in the morning or evening tomorrow? I'll be in and out of your hair as fast as I was there. That's an appointment booked right there. That's how you say it. Whatever they say, 
it's perfect, I understand. Give a solution to it and then get back to script. You always have to get back to the close. I can't just say, yeah, that's the reasoning for my call, uh, blah, 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 and not say, and not go for a close like, I have an availability in the morning and evening tomorrow. Or did you have eight to 10 minutes right now or this evening? I have to go for a close still. I'm not, there's, the client's never going to say, yeah, sure. Come on over. I have a little bit of coffee ready. If you keep me around a hundred dollars a month, I'll go ahead and buy that. We'll see you tonight. That's not real. That's not real. than insurance and sales and, and, and auto sales and, and solar sales and real estate. It's that it's not real, right? That's why practicing your craft and not overcomplicating it and not overthinking it is, is such a strong measure, right? And a lot of us will, will overly train will overly train to the point of stagnation and in handicaps us instead of moving forward, right? So the best way, guys, I'm not this special. I've been doing this for 24 months, for two years. I was a finance director before this. I was in the auto industry. You know what I'm saying? I have zero insurance experience beside the last 24 months here at FFL. But one thing I did do right is I did listen to the mentors that brought me in and they said, just go, just go. And that's exactly what I did, you know, and by the grace of God, thank God, my first year in the business, we were able to, I was able to go, I was able to go Hall of Fame, put a, have a $300,000 a month agency go in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But once again, that's not because I'm special. I just showed up every day. Half the work is just showing up. The other, the other half of it is, is, is mentality, is your mental, right? And then your, the other part of it is instead of setting goals, set set outcomes because outcomes is something that you know is going to happen a goal is a goal an outcome is what's going to happen and set small realistic goals every 90 days every 60 days because those small victories are good for your soul it keeps you going so like Kukila, you're going to be you're going to be fresh you're going to get your you're just going to buy a first batch of these your first thing is to to book as many appointments as you can should be your, your, the outcome. I mean, the goal. And then the outcome should be, I want to at least close three policies this weekend. Really, if you have enough appointments, you can do three, three, three or four on a Saturday. Three or four on a Saturday. If one, if a client says yes to 50 bucks, another client says yes to a hundred bucks and another client says yes to 80 bucks, you're going to make almost $3,000 that Saturday. Now imagine what you do all month to make $3,000. And you can do that in like a few hours that day, right? But the commitment is there. The commitment does have to be there. And every time you guys start tripping out on the phone, just keep it very human. Sir, I know you've been getting a lot of calls. You're going to continue to get a lot of these calls until the case is satisfied. And that's the truth. I'm a state licensed underwriter. It takes about eight to 10 minutes for me to go over this information. Do you have an availability uh, tomorrow? Because I have a morning and an evening available. Which one fits for you? Or, sir, the reality of the situation is until this case file gets closed, you're going to continue to get calls. Okay. You have an option to do this in person or over the phone. What do you prefer? Over the phone. Perfect. Did you have eight to 10 minutes right now? Or should we have a structured real appointment this evening? So just get real human with them. Okay. Um, I want to open this up. If there's any questions, go ahead. Rob, I'll go first. This is Don. Uh, good to see okay. you. Great stuff. I'll be following your Facebook page. Awesome. Uh, question, question I have is um, just the nature of this. I'm, I'm in Mexico, so I'm total virtual. New at this, pretty new anyway. And my question is, if you're, um, if you're getting hung up on or if you're, uh, you know, okay, sounds good. Let me talk to my wife if they're not there, whatever. Are you, are you, how many, how often do you follow up and go back to them before you just move it on, move on? Like, okay, you, so what you want, so what you want to do is the ones that say you're going to talk to your wife and, and okay, sir, I completely understand. Obviously you're going to continue to get calls. You're going to continue to get these calls until we, until, uh, uh we satisfy your account. Okay. So when is a good time to call you back to tonight or tomorrow evening? and actually hold him to that appointment that he wants to be called back at. Because when he sees, let me talk to my wife, and you say, okay, here's my number, blah, blah, blah. You're leaving it open. There is no outcome for you. And he's, he doesn't have a goal 
He's got to work towards something. Now, when you guys tie down an appointment time, a real appointment time, you're holding another man to that appointment time. So even if you don't get every single one, it still increases the percentage. Even if it increases the, the percentage by 15, 20%, that's still another two, three sales a week times four is another eight sales a month, right? So instead of just letting him go like that, have a time when I should call you back and hold him to it. And sir, actually, I'm going to be sending you a text message right now with my national producer number where you can find me on state and government websites. And looking forward to talking to you Wednesday at 315. And you can even get to the point to take his email and make a Google Calendar link so he gets a notification as well. So, so this is about this okay, so that's a, that's a thing as well. And then uh, uh, remember that we're not we're not a uh, we're not telemarketers, guys. So on the phone, Tammy, Tammy, this is Rob. I'm calling from here from. I don't really like the benefits department too much. I always say something creative, like I'm actually the manager. I'm the agency owner. I'm the agency director. Uh, uh, I'm the manager of San Bernardino County. I always say something like that with a little bit of, of authority. So to keep them on the phone and then they could usually spill the beans on why they feel how they feel. As, so, new, as new people, when you, when you can't say we're agency owner, that kind of thing, what would you term it to give you some credibility? Agency manager. Agency manager. Even if we're finessing the language a little bit, guys, at the end of the day, what we're doing, there's no negative to it, right? We're selling life insurance. So if you've got to, if you got to finagle a little bit of language to protect a client, so be it. You know what I'm saying? So, so it can be manager, director. Uh, I think manager and director is the area is, is, a, is a good one. Well, we're speaking the truth in advance anyway, if we're going to build. There you go. There you go. There you go. Guys, remember a lot when you get up the when you get on the phone, do it in good faith. Like Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, these amazing minds and entrepreneurs of the world, they don't really do too much sales training. And my lads, all these, it's all this. This is your reality. This the mind can can make you sick or heal you. Right. And it's literally what goes on in here. So much of our doubt and stress is in our minds. And that doubt and stress hasn't even happened in real life. But we're just thinking about the bad stuff that could happen. Right. And that's how a lot of new agents and agents feel about the phone. So instead of saying, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, it, it might not work. Why don't we start saying when it works? How about if it does work? How about if it does work? Sorry, I'll be out two minutes. How about if it does work, right? So um, let's do that, guys. Anything you need, you can reach me at Rob Kakish, R-O-B-K-A-K-I-S-H on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is Robert Kakish. Um, but, but I'm mostly active, obviously, on Instagram. But I do post on Facebook all the time as well. And um, yeah, that's, that is pretty much that, guys. So uh, find your scripts, okay? Find your own script, your own swag. You have, to, you have to memorize your own stuff. You can't keep reading off a script forever. It's not how this works. You, it has to be second nature to where you're finding your own groove to it. You know, you got to find your own groove to it. And then the rebuttals, you got to understand the rebuttals that the client gives you and memorize them like the back of your hand. You have to. And it's just three, four, five rebuttals. Just make sure you have an answer to all of them. And yes, spend the time. Spend the time learning that. If you want to make 20, 30, 40, 50, I'm 29 years old. And I'm not saying this like I'm special. I was able to put myself in the, as a 1% producer in the world in one year here at FFL. 409 on my own pen. God knows how much on overrides, VP bonus, carrier bonuses, manager bonus, Hall of Fame bonus, all the it's nuts. And I'm nothing special, but I just showed up. And everybody here has the same platform to do that. So get creative, send the messages out, TurboTex, Ringy, R-I-N-G-Y. Ringy has automatic text message where you can message and call your leads. So it's a double whammy, okay? But the phones is the gateway to business. Don't overcomplicate it. Learn your rebuttals because you're going to get the same three to five rebuttals on the phone every time. Okay. And whoever can find me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, send me a message. I'll, sell, I'll send you my rebuttal form. Actually, 
here. I'll put it right here. It should be here somewhere. Stay on the line. Uh, uh, files, files, age lead script, terminology, phone rebuttals. Here it is. Boom. Copy. All right, guys, I'm going to put it in the chat right here. Everybody save this and practice it. Boom. Copy. Oh, for whatever reason, I can't hear. Can you put it in Telegram, Rob? Yes. Is everybody in my Telegram? Yes. Right. Yeah, you are. Cookie. That is perfect. So yeah, guys, whoever whoever's not part of my agency, the frontline agency, send me uh, uh, a message. Okay, send me a message and I'll go ahead and send that to you. Cookie, the coupon code is ninety nine dollars. It's ninety nine bucks. You'll get it for free for a couple of weeks. Okay. When you get when you get into that, you need to send me or one of my agents, Chris Chavez, a request mm -hmm. so can get all of our drip campaigns. Perfect. I'll get on that today just then, after this call. Yeah. And then I'll send you a, a how to video as well. And then okay. I'll also send you uh, Robin's number, who is uh, our uh, manager, our case manager as well. Okay. okay. Don, Robert, if you have Facebook, Robert Kakish message me there. For some reason, I can't copy and paste it in the chat. Um, I'll try one more time. I, I have Telegram and Instagram, so I'll look for you there. Okay, perfect. Rob Kakish, like right here in my Zoom, R-O-B Kakish. Okay, and I put a lot of content out there. But nonetheless, guys, uh, make sure you guys show up to these calls. It's a big part of the uh, understanding, you know, that subconscious really starts to really starts to kick in. And once again, everybody who knows me, I'm going to have to talk to you again. And if this is done right, this is not no BS. You will have a, life can get a lot better. Where you are right now, doesn't have to be where you are okay it can always get better we just got to start we got to start doing different actions all right nonetheless guys god bless if you ever need anything please reach out thanks all rob right. thanks you're everyone welcome. take care everyone take care Thank you. you're very welcome